Everyone loves Creed, right? Hey guys, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sands Fragrance Station, and this one is for my top 5 Creed fragrances video. First off, shout outs to another Fraghead for tagging me to do this. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so thank you, brother. And definitely stay tuned until the end of the video to see if maybe you have been tagged by me to do this as well. But yeah, as for my list, what do you think of when you think of Creed fragrances? Obviously, you think of the freshest that the niche fragrance game has to offer. I don't exactly have any of their more deeper or resinous scents on my list, just because if I want something like that, I'll tend to look elsewhere. And I don't have anything from their Aqua Original line on this list, or any of their other exclusives as well. But yeah, for now, I'm definitely going to stick to what I have, starting with this. It's my number 5. It's the Seaside Arolfa. Arolfa, in the eyes of many, including myself, is a criminally underrated freshie. Undoubtedly has one of my favorite citrus melon openings, which transitions into a musky ambergris salty accord in the base. The combination is sporty yet refined, and very nautical. Like the type of dude who I see most being able to pull this off is a young rich dad cruising in his yacht for the day. It's simply a great daytime casual scent. That being said, for me it is the worst performer on this list. Projects well for about an hour in the sun, but it gets super close to the skin afterwards until it's undetectable around the 4 hour mark. So with that performance holding it back, the Seaside Rolfa only takes a number 5 spot on this list. Moving on to the number 4 spot is none other than the legendary Green Irish Tweed. Guys, what hasn't been said about Green Irish Tweed already? It was unique for its time, it's clean, fresh, and green, and it just smells like excellence. Great daytime casual scent, and smells professional enough for just about any workplace environment, and it'll last me a work day too. It's truly a hallmark fragrance, and one of the most influential ever even to the point where it has two really good copycats in Shea Bond, and more notably, Cool Water by Davidoff. That is why GIT is lower on this list for me. Not only can people not tell which is which off of me, but sometimes I have a hard time figuring it out too. Since most of this scent's DNA is too easily replicated for the most part, that is why Green Irish Tweed is only number 4 on this list. Number 3 on this list now is what some call the King of Fragrances, and it's none other than the Almighty Aventus. In my honest opinion, Olivier Creed is an absolute genius for taking pineapple and making it the primary note of this jack of all trades juice. Pineapple of course is super tropical, but you don't exactly feel that vibe with Aventus with its smokier nature to couple it. As a result, I get a luxurious versatility that's so awesome. Aventus truly doesn't feel out of place for the day or night, casual or formal settings, work or play, it's just the perfect juice for me for any occasion. So I love the scent and versatility so much, why is this not even my number 2? Well let's just say that batch variation is an unfortunate fact. I'm not of the belief that fragrances should be like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're gonna get, and Aventus is like that for me sadly. I know Aventus ingredients are hella pricey, but isn't that why there's a higher MSRP for it? I just don't even know this stuff anymore, and these issues have been happening long before the IFRA restrictions. Now not until I got this R01 batch from Jeremy Fragrance have I been fully happy with Aventus scent and performance, and this is my fourth batch I've ever tested. It's just unacceptable to me that a frag that is as widely hyped as this one has these issues. That and the recent influx of too many good quality clones is why Aventus only takes the number 3 spot here. Moving on to my number 2 spot, it's Silver Mountain Water. Now I've been reaching for this stuff a hell of a lot lately, it's pretty much my bay right now. Definitely a unique spring scent, yes it may come off as sharp and inky to a few, but I don't care. Tea is one of my favorite notes and the green tea is just masterfully blended here. If anything, this stuff is really reminiscent of a river mountain stream, just like how it's advertised. For a fresh creed, I get solid performance from it too, with just under 8 hours of longevity and arm's length projection for a couple hours. So with being equal parts fresh, fruity, and green, and along with consistent, honest performance, Silver Mountain Water is my number 2 on this list. And for my number 1, and to no surprise to people who've been watching this channel from the get-go, it's Millie Seam Imperial. Guys, I know MI isn't a perfect fragrance. Its glaring weakness is performance, and to people who have used every frag on this list, this may be the worst performer of them all. But to me, MI is a very honest frag. This is clearly and solely a hot climate frag that is supposed to be subtle rather than be a monstrous performer. Scent wise, the citruses along with the fruity and marine notes come off like a salty watermelon believe it or not, and I love it. You smell this stuff and it smells super pleasant and opulent, it truly tells a story and transports me in my mind to a Sicilian villa. It's hard to explain unless you've gotten your nose on this, but to me that's just how I feel. I love Millie Seam Imperial's feels and scents so much that despite its performance shortcomings, it's my number one on my top 5 list of creeds. And there you have it, my glorious list of top 5 creeds in order. 
And there it is, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any kind words or anything constructive to say, please tell me in the comment section below. Also, please tell me what's on your top five creep list and if you agree or disagree with any of my reasonings for anything on my list. But the end of this list means I am about to tag someone. So I'm actually going to tag two different people, one being Steven from Red Adolescence and the other being Dan from My Makers. So please hit us up with that video if you guys get the chance. And again to all of you guys, thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so for more great fragrance content and hopefully I see you soon. Thanks again, take care and have a good one. Bye!